My name is Dr. Halima Salebadi. I am an aesthetic doctor and you are welcome to This Close, where we constantly bring you this close to the natural beauty of your skin. And of course, it is powered by Beauty Secret Med Spa. With me here is Dr. Oyakire, a consultant dermatologist and genital urinary physician. And we will be talking about acne today. She's here to answer frequently asked questions and to dispel some myths about acne. So let's get right into it. As we all know, acne is a very common inflammatory skin condition that often called pimples that can appear on the face, chest, and back. But is there a specific course for it, doctor? Thanks for the lovely introduction, Dr. You're Halima. welcome. Now, the formation of acne involves the interaction of multiple factors okay. that results in the inflammation of the pilosebaceous unit and the formation of comedones. Mm -hmm. I will bore you with finer details of its pathophysiology. All right, so now that we have multiple factors involved in the formation of acne, so who is at risk of getting acne? <laughs> <laughs> so it is most frequent among adolescents and young adults. Okay. But it's not limited to these ages. It usually begins in the pre-adolescent period and should resolve by the third decade. But it may still persist into adulthood or even develop ab initio in adulthood. Oh, okay. So are there any triggering factors associated with acne? Oh, wow. That's a million <laughs> dollar question. Now, wow. research has shown some factors like skin trauma, which means repetitive mechanical trauma from scrubbing the affected skin with different agents may actually worsen the acne. Now, dietary factors like dairy products, foods with high glycemic load, which means food with refined sugars. Ironically, foods promoting oily foods has not been proven. proven. Okay. Now, stress is also an exacerbating factor for acne, so any kind of stress, including psychological, financial, and emotional stress. Hormonal acne, like most patients talk about, could be from syndromes like polycystic ovarian syndrome. Oh, wow, really? So now it means we have a lot of factors associated with acne, right? Mm -hmm. So what can we look out for? What can one look out for? There are actually different types of manifestations of acne and presentations may range from small dome-shaped smooth skin colored whitish bumps on the face to large deep-seated reddish painful swellings on the face. Now ultimately, if you are concerned, I would advise you to visit a dermatologist. Of course, you have to visit a dermatologist so you can get professional advice. So doctor, what are the complications associated with acne? Well, there are so many <laughs> complications. Now, resolution of acne may be uneventful or it may leave post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, different types of scarring, and of course, negative psychosocial effects. Oh, okay. So now, what are the treatment options that we have for acne? There are different modalities, so many different kinds of treatment options. That's now, right. treatment must be of a combined approach aimed at targeting the different pathologic processes that's causing the acne in the first place. So there are soaps, there are washes, there are lotions, there the are creams, creams. <laughs> there are oral medications available, and different types of chemical pills that can be done depending on the type of acne that the patient is presenting with. Now, treatment of complications can also be done with different methods, including chemical pills, but not restricted to microneedling and laser therapy. Significant resolution can actually be achieved in the hands of the right trained healthcare, healthcare professionals. professionals. Exactly. So thank you very much, Dr. Ayakiri, for bringing us this close to knowing acne. And thank you all for watching. I hope you had a very nice time with us on this episode. For more information, you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Beauty Secret Skin Care and Med Spa. And do not forget to follow us on our Instagram page at Beauty Secret Med Spa. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. This is this close. Now you know. <laughs>